But it is what it is what it is, YouTube. You know who it is. It's your boy, the Moose. Moose Squad. Let's kick it. Yeah. Hey. Moose on the loose, showing up to the party. Got four or five dudes in the room, so we party. The moose go up to the DJ stand. Everybody stand up, they gon' clap their hands. We pulling up to the wedding, and the moose still loose. He the one, he the boy, and he two step two. Got this music in tune. Yeah. Running DJ, keep the party cool. Ain't nobody going home, they been jumping on their feet. Party to the beat, we gon' party every week. And this moose still long, we gon' party every week. Yeah, long as he gon' be the DJ. Happy Father's Day, yo. First of all, let me shout out all the fathers. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and ring that bell for more notifications for videos like this and countless others. Smash that like button, and if you don't like the video, smash the dislike button. Uh, YouTube doesn't like that anyway. They think it's hate. But anyways, let's get into the topic. <clears throat> so, it was a year ago where I realized the sound in my speakers were not up to par. And what, what ended up happening was, is I went from Gemini speakers to Alto speakers. And when I made the switch, let me show you the difference. This is Amazon Basic. See the wire? Anything after this piece right here, there's nothing there. It's real flimsy. But look at the size of this wire. Okay. I use this wire. This I depended on Amazon Basic. I depended on Amazon Basic for a while. And I would just get Amazon Basic because it was cheap. And I can get it real quick at the pop. And I have to worry about it. And it'd be here the next day. And yada, yada, yada. And so forth and so forth and so forth. But I realized what was happening was I was spending more money than I should have. Seemed like every... Every four or five gigs, I would have to replace the wires. Well, then, I did some research. And I found this guy right here. This guy right here. I did research and found him. Pig hog. Now, look at the difference between wires already. You can probably see a difference there. See the thing coming out? And as you can see, there's the rubber piece coming out. And then they extended the rubber piece maybe about uh, two inches. See it? About two inches. But look at the Amazon wire. It comes out, and that's it. Introduction. There's no piece here. But look at the size of the difference. See, this is the Amazon Basic, and this is the Pig Hog. See the difference between the wires? So what I did was I did a sound check to, to make sure that, that I wasn't crazy, that this, this pig hog would, would be better than the Amazon Basic. I did a sound check a long time ago. I found that there was more buzz in the Amazon Basic. And I was like, what is causing that buzz, man? It was worse. I plugged the pig hogs in. You don't get so much um, white noise. You still get white noise. It's not as bad. But once I added the conditioner, the power conditioner, it really helped a lot. It, it's There's still white noise there, but it's not as bad. And in different places, you could tell the difference. Like getting power from there. I can hear um, white noise. Now, some places that you go to, um, they put a DJ at a certain place and they may have a stage and stuff. But usually if they have like a stage, they're going to have the right stuff for you to plug into. Um, this is a big thing for me. Um, getting this set up the way it is now it looks really good um 
I'm going to get all the stuff to put it down. I'm going to finish the facade today. Here's one piece. I got a, uh, as you can see, I got the center out. This is for the front. And then that one cracked. And I got a couple pieces here to do on this one. Um, I think this is going to be the best looking one here. I might have to order more to see the, the cracking on the facade. Um, now, I could put this facade on the inside. I'm thinking that's what might I might do. I'm not really sure. I think I could get away with doing it that way. Putting the, the, the plastic on the inside. Because, um, and then you could see the, the, the bar. But... It wouldn't matter anyway because if you look at the facades anyways, you're going to see bar. So I'm really thinking about flipping them on the inside so they can't see that mess. Um, now the tape is there. Um, the tape is there so you could drill into plastic. If you tape your plastic like this, when you start, you really won't have a burnout. Of the plastic so that's just a pro tip so if you're drilling in the plastic get some masking tape you can use duct tape you can use anything I prefer masking tape the reason you prefer masking tape is because when you pull it off you're not gonna have to clean that much stickiness off the, the back of this so what I did was I made a One, no sides, just the front facade. I made this facade out of the big one. The reason why I made the facade is for my chrome look. I don't want to hide my chrome look. Now, the, the wiring on the sides, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take 90s when they come out of the, the box, I'm gonna take the two 90s, I'm gonna put it down there, and then they're gonna go right in the right in the, the bottom holes or right into the sub, it really doesn't matter. Um, the table that I got here, I got a new table. I really don't like it. Um, I'm trying to find one that isn't so com confusing to use, but that's what I'm working with today. Um, I wanted to go through with you on the speaker wire because it's very, very, very important to have better speaker wire. The more money you put in to your equipment, the better it's going to sound. Now, one thing that I got to say that I said that I would never do, and that was get a sub. I swore to the grave I wouldn't get one. I said the secrets in the sauce. I'm not gonna get one, and I ended up purchasing one. And when I did, I realized what I was missing because you cannot replace. If you're doing, if you're doing now, I'm gonna say this because this is specifically my market. If you play Mexican, Latino, or Spanish music, however you want to call it, if you play any any of that kind of music, you have to have a sub. You have to have a sub to play that music. Because I'm telling you, if you get into the, if you get into it, and you know what I'm talking about, DJ Stelimanos can go ahead and tell tell you all about it in the bottom link here. Um, he can tell you all about it. If you don't have a sub playing Mexican music, man, 
or Spanish music or Latino, or however you want to say it. Um, down here in, in Texas, they like to be called Mexicans. They like Mexican music, and they'll tell you in a minute. So, anyways, that being said, uh, go ahead, like I said, subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and ring that bell for more notifications for videos like this and all those others. Smash that like button, and peace out. You brat! I know it was Melissa that honked the horn.